Hi guys. So I'm doing a different type of video today. Um, I'm not doing my normal like book hauls or wrap ups. I'm do I've been going to the library a lot recently and um, getting like books that like new releases that have come out or something that I just don't want to pay $25 for because I'm trying to be more like um, conscientious about that. So um, I'm doing, I have all the books that I have gotten in the past couple weeks or past month from the library. So I'm doing a type of, I'm doing all the books that I have checked out from the library, either new, rele either new releases or books that I just saw that I'm interested in reading and I want to share them with you guys. So the first one is, I'm currently reading this. I'm almost done with it. I've been reading this for about a month because when I started reading it, I got into a big reading slump. And I'm probably because I was finishing school and everything and I just needed to get out of it. So now I'm almost done reading it. I've been reading it super fast. It's like 400 and... Um, like um like 471 pages so i'm reading it super fast so i hopefully want to be done with it this weekend because i'm up to page like um i'm up to page like um 352 so I'm hoping I finish it this weekend so I can move on to my next book because I've had to renew these books like four or five times already so I can finish them because I've had them forever but the first book I'm currently reading is and this is probably going to also coincide with my June TBR which is going to be a quite ambitious but I feel like if I read like two or three books at once I can get through them faster because sometimes when I'm like listening to an audiobook and reading a physical book while I'm listening to an audiobook, I get it I get I get books done faster and I read them much quicker. Um, especially audiobooks. I get through them in like two days. So I might start doing that again because there's a new release that came out that I want to read. But I think if I listen to it, it would be faster but anyway the first book I'm currently reading and have been reading since like the second or third week in May is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer um this is the second book to Renegades so I'm not gonna give any spoilers or anything for this book um the, when I first started reading this I thought it was okay <sighs> Um, there were parts of it where I'm like, I don't know why this is a 400 page book because I didn't think it needed to be a, like 400 pages or like 471 pages worth of content, but it's getting better. So I'm liking it more than I thought. I think I gave Renegades like four stars, maybe three, maybe like 3.5 or four. I'm not quite sure because I can't remember. Um... But, yeah, I'm almost done with this, and I, so I'm hoping I can finish this this weekend. The next book I got is Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Um, I saw somebody on BookTube talk about this. I can't remember who, but I also want to read it because it's, Reese Witherspoon picked it as one of her book club picks. So I was also interested when I heard that Reese Witherspoon picked it as one of her book club picks. So I got intrigued about it. That I got intrigued about it. Um, I think uh, I've heard so many people talk about this on BookTube. I think Reagan over at Peru's Project talked about it. I think um, I can't remember her. YouTube channel, um, Super Space Chick talked about this too over on her channel, um, and one of my favorite booktubers is Reagan over at Peru's Project, um, so I really do respect her opinion on books, and she has, I don't know if she has read this yet, but I know she wanted to read this. 
so I picked it up from the library and I'm gonna give it a shot and I do want to read it in June this month so this will probably so this is one of the books on my TBR but I just happened to get it out of the library because I didn't want to pay $25 for it I'm sorry $15 for it and then not like it the next one I have is Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan. This is the third book in the Crazy Rich Asians series. Um, Crazy Rich Asians was a movie. Um, I read China Rich Girlfriend, the second book, last month and loved it. I gave it like four stars. China, Crazy Rich Asians, I'm sure all of you know by now, but in case you don't, is about a girl named Rachel Chu and her boyfriend, Nicholas Young. Um, they both work as professors. And Nicholas's cousin is getting married, and she goes back to Singapore with him for the summer to, or a couple of weeks in the summer, to meet his family. And she doesn't know that he's like, just like he's a celebrity, not essentially, over in Singapore. And it turns out when she finds out that he's like a celebrity, his family is also crazy rich. So she doesn't realize she's dating like, the celebrity of Singapore, another sense of a word. And the first book was made into a movie. The second book is getting made into a movie. It is, but I don't know when they're like start. I don't think they started filming it yet. But this is the third one, um, and I loved the first and second one. The second one is a little bit different than the first one. It's pretty much where this first one leaves off. Um, but it's so different, but it's good. I really enjoy the series. So, um, what I'm trying to do now is when I know a series is getting turned into a movie, is getting turned into a series of movies, I want to try to read the books before the movie comes out. I didn't do that with Crazy Rich Asians. I read the book after I saw the movie and they were two completely, and they, there were a lot of it that they took from the book, but there were some parts that they didn't take that they didn't do from the book. And they and the book version was kind of different than the movie version because there were some parts of it they didn't take from the book at all. So I'm trying to do that now. So I already read China's Girlfriend, which is the second book, like I mentioned. So I am prepared for the movie when it comes out. Um, and this is the third one. So I'm going to read the third one this month. I'm hoping I can fly through it very fast. Um, I'm hoping I can fly through it, excuse me, I'm hoping I can fly, fly through the third one very fast, because I flew through the second one very fast, and, yeah. The next one is, If I'm Being Honest by Emily Willoughby, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, and Austin Sigmund Brooka. This is a book that I saw Reagan talk about. Um, I can't remember what it, what it's about off the top of my head. Um, I think this is um, this is so like such summary type of book, which is kind of why it drew me in, but. From what I'm reading, it's like she's the student body president. Um, and I think she constantly lies all the time. And she goes to like an elite private school. And yeah, it seems to be such a fun and quick read. And it also seems to be like a nice beach read or a summer read. I think this recently came out too. So this is one of the new releases and I just look forward to reading it this month. Hopefully by the beach. Next book is um, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This came out last year and it's about a, about, it's a murder mystery thriller um, and it's set at a private school a boarding school in Vermont and I'm trying to remember the synopsis yes it's a, about a famous boarding school famous like elite academy in Vermont and then the people who founded it the hus the 
wife and daughter get kidnapped and that a girl ends up going to the school and when she finds out she tries to solve the case as to why they got kidnapped and what happened to them and there's a second book in this series I can't think of it it's called The Vanishing Star I couldn't think of it for a second but it's called The Vanishing Star and um I wanted to read the first one because if I don't like it then I have to read the second one but I might end up reading the second one anyway. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a third book in the series. I'm not exactly sure. So I'm just going to read the first one first. The next one is um, I'm Not Really a Waitress, One Color at a Time by Susie Weiss Fishman. She's the co-founder of the nail polish company OPI. Um, this is a memoir. It is extremely short. It's about 200 and like... 201 pages no 218 pages um I think she just goes and it's how one woman took over the beauty industry so I think it's just about how she founded OPI and everything like that and when I read the synopsis and I realized that she was a co-founder of OPI I'm such into fashion and beauty and everything um so, I just thought that this book would be a fun, quick read about how she founded OPI and how she took over the beauty industry um, one color at a time. Um, so, I can read this fairly quickly. The next one is um, Rosie Girl by Julie Shepard. Um, the cover drew me, in. when I saw it like this on the shelf at the library, it drew me in. I don't know what it's about, but I it's a debut novel from Julie, this is Julie Shepard's debut novel. Um, it, the cover drew me in because I love the lipstick the like lipstick on the cover so it drew me in I don't know what this book is about but I'm excited to read it I look forward to reading it the next one is Olivia don't stop believing by Olivia Newton John um she is an icon it is her memoir I knew who she was I just wanted to read it. I was just interested in it because I know who she is and I know she's famous. Um, and and she was in Greece, so that's why I know. That's what I know her from. So I was just looking forward to reading her book. I have three left. Okay. The next one is. Superman Dawnbreaker by Matt Del Pena. I've never read any of Matt Del Pena's books before. I have read the other three in this, like, series of books. Um, and this is the fourth one. Yeah, this is the fourth, like, super, the comic DC icon in the DC universe that I have read. And I read the other three which were Wonder Woman, Batman, and Catwoman, and I needed to read this one. The Wonder Woman was by Lee Bardugo, Batman was Marie Lou, and Catwoman was written by Sarah J. Mass. I haven't read any books by Matt Delapena yet. This is going to be my first Matt Delapena book. Um, but I'm just... I just wanted to read it and see what hit and how he does his take on Superman. The next one is Two Can Keep a Secret If One Is Dead by Carol by Karen M. McManus. She is the author of One of Us Is Lying that I did read. I liked One of Us Is Lying. It was so gripping and um, I think this is the second book. I don't know if One of Us Is Lying is a series. I'm going to go with this is probably the second book in the series that she read that she wrote and if it's not then this is probably the sec 
I know this is the second book that Karen and McManus wrote, but I don't know if it's the second book in the One of Us is Lying series. I don't know if these two are both standalones. If they are, I don't think you have to read them in order. But if they, but the, if this is the second book in the One of Us is Lying series, you do have to read them in order. Please let me know down in the comments if like One of Us is Lying is a standalone and this is a standalone too. Because I'm just curious about that because I have no idea. And the next one is, and the last one is Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. Um, when this came out, there was so much hype around it that I wanted the hype to die down. And it's been so long since this did come out that I do not remember. It's been so long since this came out that I do not remember what it's about. I just know I wanted to read it. And when I saw it at the library, I just had to get it. Alrighty guys, those are all the books that I have gotten so far from the library. I do have more on hold, but they won't come in for a while. Um, and yeah, let me know down in the comments what, if you read any of these books and what you thought of them, because I would love to know. And um, this is also probably going to be my June TBR as well, because... These are all the books that I have gotten from the library, like I've mentioned. But this is probably also going to be my June TBR as well because, yeah. But just let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them and which one I should read after I finish Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. Um, I have, I'm probably going to read Rich People Problems because it's in three parts. So I can read a second book while I'm reading. I can read another book and take a break in between each part and read another book while I'm reading Rich People Problems and also listen to an audiobook. So, because I'm trying to, I'm so behind on my Goodreads goal that I'm trying to read books quicker. But if there's a different book you think I should read first after I read, after I finish Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer, just let me know down in the comments which one you think I should read before Rich People Problems by Kevin Kwan and I would and I will be more than interested to read that. I will, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.